Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and today I've got time for another watercolor. This one was a, a bud and I thought the photo was just so pretty. Couldn't resist. Lots of yellows and pinks. And so, here we go. I'm putting in the base wash and adding a few colors that I know will be in there one petal at a time it always helps to do it that way then you won't have all of the different tones bleeding into each other I draw my my uh, picture out um, in pencil first very lightly because you cannot erase the pencil after you put watercolor on it. It seals it somehow. The good news is I managed to get my Sony, my little Sony camera, uh, my Cybershot to um, work, and it is having some problems, but it is working. It doesn't seem to want to turn itself off, and so it runs the battery down, but I've managed to make it work again, so I can't complain. I didn't have to buy a new one. So that's just it for my base coat. And then I have to go back and add another. Another layer of color. You can see I have a little purple personal fan down there in the left hand corner because the days are heating up and sometimes I just need a little air blowing on me. I don't necessarily want it blowing on my painting but I want it blowing on me. <laughs> You can see in the shadows, I am using diazonine violet on top of my lemon yellow and cadmium yellow in order to make a sort of gray shadow. I'm using the Winsor & Newton Permanent Rose for my pinks and cadmiums for my oranges and yellows. It's a real trick to make the center petal look very rounded using color and shadow um, and value. It's not there yet, it still looks flat to me, but on to the next layer.
So it's been heating up quite a bit around here. It was like 106 uh, yesterday, and so... Yeah, I don't care for the heat. I stay in, <laughs> so... Sheltering in place is the perfect thing at a time like this. Too hot to go out. Now you see I'm making little veins in the petals using a slightly darker value than the petal is painted with. So on the pinks I'm using a slightly darker pink, on the yellow I'm using a slightly orange yellow. And the trick to painting the veins in is direction. You need to be sure that you know the direction that the leaf is, is laying. It's just too easy to start painting lines and then realize you've got the wrong direction and now it looks flat. <laughs> went down and got a new brush. This is a size zero. So I could get into these very fine lines. And I'm doing the same with the leaves. Painting the centers and uh, leaving the veins light. It's tricky, but it works. So there you have it. My rose with veins. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I love painting. It's my favorite thing. I hope you come again and subscribe and check out my links below for books and classes and an assortment of other things that I do. Bye now!